crypt. I don't know where their territory is. Hey, okay. Mr. Deacon, so I wouldn't know. Mr. Deacon, real quick, can you uh, can you whisper for me so uh, we don't have other me? eyes and ears? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, yeah, I don't know where their area is, so I, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Okay, okay. Um, so you, do you know who they are in general? Um, Any of them ever come into the shop, maybe? I mean, I know a couple of them work at Hayes, but I don't really know their names. Like, I, I come in. I'm a shift manager there, so I just kind of go in and schedule people to kind of come in and do work. Sometimes I'll go in, I'll do work myself, but most of the time I'm not at the shop. Well, you must know you must know any of their names if you if you're the shift manager, you know. You'd be a pretty bad shift manager if you didn't know their names. Um, I maybe one of them is Devin. I don't or no, not Devin. Sorry. Um, Rex, I think it is. It works there. Okay. I don't know right. the other ones. They they never expressed their names to me. I do. I wasn't yeah. the one that hired them. My yeah, boss yeah. did so. Yeah, so I, I obviously the, this I don't are, have the power to to hire those people or hire so people in general. This this Rex dude, so he just he works at Hayes and does he only wear uh, blue? Is it? Uh, no. When he... Oh, I think you're. Uh, he your voice... doesn't rep. There's. Oh, okay. Was it coming? No, yeah, you're good. Yeah, no, your your voice just popped. Oh, uh, sorry. It's okay. Um, no, no, no. My boss has a rule: no cuts, no colors. So most of the work there, if they aren't in a gang or if they're gang related then they don't rep they any to, other colors they have to take I mean, it off once they come in yeah yeah yeah. i mean some of his boys or some of the other people that come in like they they wear blue but i don't know them personally i try and kind of stay out of all that stuff you know he works at Hayes, and does he only wear uh blue is it uh no when he... oh i think you're uh, he your doesn't voice... rep oh, there's yeah. oh okay was it no, yeah, you're good. Yeah, no, your your voice just popped. Oh, uh, sorry. It's okay. Um, no, no, no. My boss has a rule: no cuts, no colors. So most of the work there, if they aren't in a gang or if they're gang related, then they don't rep they any to, other colors. They have to take I mean, it off once they come in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some of his boys or some of the other people that come in, like they they wear blue, but I don't know them personally. I try and kind of stay out of all that stuff, you know. Yeah, I get you. I get you. All right, that's uh, that's pretty much everything. I told you be uh, be nice and quick. That's uh, that's literally everything that we needed to know. Copy that. I know that there was some altercation there, but I wasn't there. I literally just woke up about twenty thirty minutes ago, so I just heard the, about it. What was this an alterca altercation where? At Hayes, like there was some shooting there or something like that. I don't know. Oh, all right. I I, I didn't even know about that. Yeah, that was news for me. <laughs> yeah, well, would this be? Do you do you think that this would be in relation to to them blue dudes? I have no clue. Because I mean, it makes sense, you know. If even if they weren't wearing colors, I mean, people would find out that them blue dudes walk down there, and then if there was a, a gang war going on, that's that'd be the perfect place to catch them, you know. Uh, I mean, yeah, you could I mean, say that. Yeah, like no, I mean, I... logic logically, it makes sense. Logically, yeah, but like I said, I didn't hear anything about colors or any gang that was there. I yeah, that there was a shooting. Just, That's all. I yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Deacon, I appreciate it. Thank you very much for coming Temple. in. As I said before, just to uh, just to give you some reassurance, uh, everything you said in this room does stay in this room, and I won't leave this room. Cool. Okay. Perfect. Oh, I'll take a seat next to you. All right, Devin. So I'll just start off by saying um, this is being recorded. There is a there's a camera just up just up Excuse there in me, that sir. corner. Get back here. Let me okay. uh, let me turn off the radio. Hold on, I fucking somebody in the radio. There we go. All right. So everything you say uh, is on record, and uh, everything you say is confidential. It does not leave this room whatsoever. This is only between us three. Okay. Okay. So uh, all I want to start off by asking is uh. Where were you on the uh, on the eleventh of uh, of April? So that would have been on three the, days ago, if... about Monday. Um, I think I was at Hayes pretty much all day. Okay, so you you work at Hayes, do you? Yes, sir. 
Okay, were you uh, were you anywhere else? Were you like North Vinewood, inner city, down south? Uh, no. I mean, I think if I did stop by like the Vinewood area, it was just to uh, like uh, get my receipts into the bank and get that. But no, yeah. Um, I was with Arthur pretty much almost all week, just working at Hayes, trying to get some money for the business, you know. Yeah, yeah, and um. Would, do you remember seeing like a like a dude in a white suit anywhere? Um, I not that I can recall of. No. Okay, he's like he's like a lawyer, like that. I think his name is Thomas. Like, oh, I can't, Thomas I, I, Billings. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I think that's him. Yeah. Um, I don't really see him much, to be honest. I mean, I just see him here and there. But other than that, I don't think he ever came by the shop or anything. I'm gonna be asking, what do you see him for? Just legal stuff, or wait, sorry, what? It, I said, well, if you don't mind me asking, what do you see Thomas for? Because you said you see him here and there. Oh yeah, yeah. I just meant like around the city. Like if I'm at Alta or something, I see him there. But other than that, I don't really interact with him. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Have you ever have you ever used him? Because he's a lawyer and he's a pretty fucking good one at that. Have you ever used him for any any cases? Uh, no. I know. Um, my brother Rex did at one point. Okay. How, how did that go? Was it good? Because I know. Yeah, I know yeah, it was him. good. Yeah, he uh, really good lawyer. Yeah, he's definitely a good lawyer. That uh, that whole situation was pretty quick. He got his um stuff expunged, and that was it. Yeah, that dude knows his shit. All right, so yeah, that's uh, that's really it. And yeah, I don't know anything about this this gang war, but I know there's been a, I just know there's been a heap of shootings all over the city. Yeah, honestly, it's over something stupid, man. I don't. There, in my opinion, there shouldn't be a fucking war right now. <laughs> So what was it? What like what happened with the war? Did they just kind of someone just start shooting at somebody? Because I know, I think I know it's I know it's use, and then I know the Vagos, and I think them orange dudes are involved. But I don't fucking know. I'm not interested in it. Yeah, uh, basically, um, somebody in the Vindicates and somebody in the Vagos got divorced, and um, we posted a picture on Twitter um, of I was holding the girl that got divorced. And somebody posted a picture of me holding her saying, like, um, um, this is my baby, don't touch her, something along the lines of that. And, yeah, they got very pissed about that. Oh, this shit. Be, uh, <laughs> that'd be Molly Olsen, wouldn't it? Uh, no. No. Oh, I thought it was her. So I just remember hearing something about a divorce. 